results were in line with expectation for the first half. While the uh, EBIT result is 16% lower than the period, this should be no surprise, uh, as it represents the changes that were communicated in FY18 for each business unit and accounts for the impact of the UT5 final decision to the network business. We made the decision to account for the UT5 final decision now, including accelerating the full $60 million in FY18 true up into this year. That's 50% this half. We believe this is a prudent decision as the longer we wait, the greater the true up and therefore impact to the PL in future periods. So we remain focused on returns to shareholders, declaring a dividend of 11.4 cents per share, franked to 70% this half, representing 100% payout. And we've maintained a payout ratio of 100% since the second half of FY15. Uh, coal, turning to coal, the volumes there were 1% lower than the prior period, uh, with additional growth offset by uh, supply chain constraints, industrial action and weather. We've, made, we've maintained our volume guidance for the year, and that's in the range of 215 to 225 million tonnes. Uh, the market uh, environment remains positive, and we've been progressively investing to meet the growth demands, including recently approving two new consists of 106 tonne wagons for the uh, Central Queensland coal network. That uh, signals Horizon's willingness to support our customers' growth ambitions. Our coal business is working this year to progress its fleet reliability program, which is, has seen maintenance costs increase and, and impacting coal's results uh, as expected in the half. Um, however, the results from this re reliability program will lead to ongoing uh, and ongoing efficiency improvements and, and increased volumes will drive the EBIT growth for coal uh, in the FY20 and beyond. As far as the bulk business goes, it delivered a good result in the half and has, we've had uh, contracting success with the Lynn Fox 10-year hook and pull agreement uh, and the uh, Glencore freighter uh, uh, on the Mount Isa line. Bulk does face some headwinds in the second half and that's get, and given the uh, recent floods in North Queensland and the Mount Gibson iron ore contract in ceased in January, uh, which was in line with the mine, uh, mine life. The bulk team does, however, remain focused on the turnaround program and growing revenue and volumes in order to build a sustainable business for the longer term. Just uh, going to the network business, uh, the resolution of the UT5 uh, uh, undertaking remains a work in progress. The QCA issued the final decision in December and which provided a 6% increase uh, to the draft decision. That is positive, of course, but still short of where we believe the appropriate revenue and return should be. The next milestone in the process is actually this afternoon, and that's when a, a submission of the UT5 um, undertaking conforming to the final decision is due. And then finally on uh, undertaking, the discussions with the customers and the stakeholders will continue, but uh, as yet no agreement has been reached. We just broadly on the on the business, we remain focused on transformation and driving operational improvements. And this has been achieved through target investments in technology, uh, in dr driving precision operations and restructuring our support areas. On the EA front, the Fair Work Commission has approved three agreements to date. A further two agreements have received approval from employees but have to go through the approval process. And the latest one of those was the Queensland Infrastructure Agreement, which occurred Monday last week. Bargaining continues on the two remaining EAs that are due in this cycle and the, the Queen, uh, Queensland Bulk and the Queensland Coal Enterprise Agreement. And then finally on intermodal. We sold the Queensland intermodal business uh, to Linfox in January, and that resulted in the majority of employees uh, retaining jobs. Uh, transferring either to Linfox or, as I previously mentioned, to the bulk 10-year uh, hook and pull agreement, so they transferred to the bulk uh, business. The remaining intermodal asset is the, uh, Arise, is the Horizon Acacia Ridge uh, terminal. Uh, the agreement to sell that to Pacific National is subject to ACCC proceedings through the, uh, that's in the federal court and they'll continue uh, through this month. 
should the court make a decision uh, that the sale cannot proceed, uh, we'll consider all our options, uh, one of which, of course, is just to hold on to the asset. Uh, and the terminal did make a small profit during the half, as forecast. So that's pretty much the high level outline, um, hopefully demonstrating, well, definitely demonstrating that we continue to deliver on our promises. Um, and there's a lot of work going on to drive uh, earnings growth in the business. 